to send and receive your domain um, emails from Outlook.com, you want to go up to the gear, once in Outlook.com, go to Options, and then you'll have all of these things to choose from. You want to go to your email accounts, and you're going to do an Add a Send and Receive account. Okay, and then start typing in the email account that you're going to be bringing into Outlook.com. You want to make sure you go to Advanced Options because in here, if you have a secured server, it may be different than what they populate here. And in my case, it is. And in most cases, it will be as well. So you want to get these your server address from your um, your hosting provider. Uh, your username will be your full email account. Oh, and yes, you usually do want to leave a copy of the messages on the server as kind of a backup in case Outlook.com goes down or if you want to move your emails elsewhere. I would suggest retyping your email in just in case. Um, and you usually want to send email from your provider service so they don't see your Outlook.com address. Okay, and my server, outgoing server is the same. Um, I always like to do secure setting and usually 465 is a outgoing SMTP port, but check with your hosting provider the information they gave you. And usually, yes, use the same username and password. So now we're gonna go to next and it's gonna take a few seconds to set it up. I would suggest not putting into a separate folder or else it'll come in and drop into a folder that is not your inbox and you won't even know it's coming in. So click an existing folder, make sure it goes to your inbox. Save. Okay, and when you have been successful, you receive this message that you now can send and receive messages from this account. So you go to your inbox and you can send yourself a test and there it is right there um, and when you want to compose you can click new and don't forget that who, you know whichever account you want to use this for and who you're sending it to um, you can click on here to, t to select a different account of who you're sending it from so I'm gonna test Oh, I'm testing at test two, and now I'm going to send it. Okay, and the thing about um, Outlook com is that it does take a while for the emails to come from the server. I've noticed that as compared to if you set this up in Gmail or in Yahoo. Um, so it's sometimes you just kind of have to, I, it, sometimes it can be even a 30 minute delay. So that's, uh, that's always not so good. Um,